Sixes they surrounded me Like on that crystal that she gave you I just let it hang She spoke to me and said Baby let me go be your queen She said I be balling more than cash and splash it call me clay It's a 28 and 25 It's titled Captivities and Plagues So if you read 28 and 25 It said the Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemy Thou shalt go out one way against them And flee seven ways before them And thou shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the nations and thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air and unto the beasts of the earth and no man shall fray from them so when you read that think about when somebody goes in one way and goes out seven ways think of an army an army especially back in the days how did they go they came they had a front line you know you had a, a group of soldiers in the front another group behind it and you went in to fight your enemy so think about it if you go out seven ways what does that mean that you were scattered now let me pull up a specific sh uh, screen share so that way you brothers can understand uh the detail of what happened i'm sure you brothers know these images think about it think about the technology that the esau quote-unquote edomite had they had muskets these niggas had gallic guns these niggas had machine guns these niggas had all type of technology that was never seen before and what did they do not only with just europe because there's a lot of civil war going on in europe and that's kind of how they got their base head when they destroyed europe black rulership in europe but when they came to the native americans and especially in the 1800s when they conquered africa it was no fucking match our people had bows and arrows these niggas had horses these niggas had <laughs> you know what i'm saying niggas was throwing rocks and these niggas had guns so think about it when you came in one way and you flee out seven it means that you always lost the battle why is it that for hundreds and hundreds of years think about it the french and indian war think about um the what was it the hundred year war between britain and france i mean they were doing a lot of wars as far as our nations fighting against one another which weakened us which is also why america is going to be in the civil war because it's going to weaken our country but getting back to the topic when these wars when the edomites first came on the scene because the most high gave them such great technology because at the end of the day if you look at let's just let's just read esau's uh gift so that way you brothers understand why the white man is so great at, at war um, uh we were thinking the same thing brother uh yeah, you have the up already uh genesis 27 and 40 yeah so you got to understand the story behind it and you brothers need to believe this fully uh, when it comes to the when it comes to the understanding uh esau is quote unquote you know the white man obviously it's not just white people in general but you got to look at it that way and jacob is again native americans hispanics and um you know obviously the negro yeah, so, the negro. so jacob had his blessing he stole his original blessing which was obviously to inherit the kingdom from the most high but what what esau got in return was he says if you go to uh genesis 27 and 40 it says and by the sword shall thou live and thou shall serve thy brother and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck so when you understand what that means think about a sword in the times it was a weapon a weapon of choice so esau they were gifted when it comes to weaponry machinery i mean look at europe look at um you know america what are they great at nigga guns ammo we're the first country to come up with the atomic bomb nazi germany think about it they were the first ones who had on the scene the machine gun because this was their last rulership but the most high gave them all these great technologies to destroy people but specifically to destroy our people because we went against the most high and that's why when you look at these pictures you got you got nigga what is it 20 30 edomites right here you got hundreds of people getting massacred because they got the weapons compete, man. And yeah. it's all to fulfill prophecy. I'm just bringing up a quick scripture from 2nd Ezra chapter 6. Uh, yeah, I'll start at verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? When it's talking about the end of the first, it's talking about the end of the world as we know it and the beginning of the kingdom. So the angel says to uh, him, uh, to Ezra in uh, verse 8, he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So that just lets you know the birth of Esau and Jacob had a multiple meaning. Not only him grabbing the heel, his heel represented him taking his birthright and blessing, but it represented that Esau came first, so he represents the, the fall of this world. And Jacob will supplant him and uh, create the, the new world to come of righteousness. Mm -hmm. 
and that's oh, why they, no. they're mocking you by saying the new world order because they understand that there's going to be a new world but they're trying to be like the most high by saying that they're creating a new world we're going to reset everything they're trying to play god that's why they do everything think about the chip that we talked about the mark of the beast the most high is going to give us the, he's going to put the uh uh his mark in our foreheads for the 144,000. so what they do is they mock the most high by saying we're going to put a mark in your in your hand because when they say that satan wants to be like the most high they're not talking about the demon satan they're talking about esau he's the one who wants to do everything he wants to clone shit. he wants to you know have surrogate babies he's the one who's come up with all these things to artificially manufacture you. He wants to be half man, half robot. He's trying to play God. So everything that he does is against the most high. And that's because it's the end of the world and the most high is going to start a new one through through Jacob, through the Israelites. Exactly. And the top Edomites already know this, man. Why the hell do you think they have a space force? Th does that make any fucking sense? Calm like, down. think about it. Like, they most people don't even good. think about that. Well, what's the point of a fucking mm -hmm. space force? They're going to try to battle the Aquarius. Who are you finding in space? Come on, people. <laughs> <laughs> you got to use your brain. <laughs> uh huh. They prep. They yeah, prep the battle of the cherries, brother. I found it funny. Nobody was talking about that. Like, what was the need for that? It's because that's why. That's the whole point of this COVID pandemic. Like, people don't even have time to think about the space force. For me, to be honest, I don't I haven't even looked up anything about the space force other than when initially came out about it. But I understand they're building more and more. But just the concept of space force. That's enough for anybody just to realize. Space Force, like, what are you, what are y'all fighting in space? What's going on? Even the person who's not in the truth, they should understand. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I was like, what, what, what is, what is this? <laughs> hey, no, no, no. But what I wanted to say, I mean, think about it. You've been around for thousands of years. Why is it that there's never been any alien contact? Why is it that NASA was fake? Because they wanted you to think that there was other life on Earth. When in actuality, the Most High has designed the Earth where you can't get past the second sea. Because think about it, we have the seas in the sky, which is you know the sky that we live in, and obviously the, Earth, the firmament. Yeah. But then you have the second sea, which is the the sea of stars, the sea of planets, the galaxy. You see what I'm saying? And then behind, beyond that realm, is where the Most High dwells. You see what I'm saying? Because there's three heavens. There's a heaven on Earth, which is the sky. Then there's also the the heavens in the in the stars, which is why you can't count the stars. It's just a boundless wave of things. And then past that is the most high. If you brothers watch Men in Black, why do they have that tank where they're, they're on Earth and then they're in the sea and then there's somebody controlling everything and they have it as an alien? It's actually the, they're referencing the most high because they understand if you're a high ranking um, left hand pass uh, person, you know the truth. You know the mysteries of it because you sold your soul. You sold everything out. You blasting the most high. So they give you the knowledge on the left hand path. We're on the right hand path. And then all these other nations and other people who don't get it, they're the casualties. That's what a movie is about. You got the good guys, the bad guys, and then the fucking actors who are just around, you know, don't even, they're just lost in the fucking sauce. So that's what that really means if you, if you watch the end of Men in Black. Con, con, um, excellent point, brother. I just want to bring out a quick precept as well. <clears throat> just to um get on the point that you know the images that you just showed you know with the with the wars and all those kind of things you know getting down on our people you know our brothers the native americans you know um things of that nature even our, even in africa think about africa too. Exa exactly our brothers out there you know all, all the war and even all in all the wars throughout history man that uh esau led the way in this is the this is a second corinthians 10 and 3 for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the most high to pulling down on the strongholds so that, the, this scripture can go into a few ways this scripture cuts the fact that for esau thinking that he is somehow the, the people of the book which is not true their first line of defense is always that strap they go straight to that strap as the first line of defense and everything they're always ready to start wars that, that's that's their that's their go-to mechanism of conquering you know is um is through beating down other nations warring other nations um you know and and you know just dismantling other nations of people through the through their blessing through the, the weaponry their blessing that was the bless that's the blessing the most i gave esau you know um the the sword you know that's 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 how that's their first line of defense to conquer but also this this shows as well that the, like the scriptures say for the weapons of our warfare are like not carnal but mighty through the most high so that goes to show you that when we're not in lockstep with the most high 
our we our, when we are in lockstep with the most high our weapon is much our weapon of choice that being the spirit the, the most high is much more powerful than esau's carnal weapon that being the sword but when we're not in lockstep with the most high you see how esau's blessing is able to overcome us because we can't battle esau with esau's weaponry we can't battle esau with his blessing because esau is just way more skilled at that than us because that's the, that's the blessing the most high gave them unless yeah. the most High's on our side with it then we can battle esau but our weapon is really spiritual because even though the most High may allow us to use certain tools certain swords guns whatever to, to do what we got to do it's really the most high operating it the most high is really the operating system behind that esau's operating system is his skill in the weaponry our operating system is the most high giving us the power to overcome him using his own blessing if it if it um when it when when that when that's happened in our history but of course right now you know um we're gonna be racing with the chariots lord willing you know and and you know the missiles are gonna be coming down from the chariots and and also through the um what these other nations are gonna bring onto america but that but you know just going to show you right there that in this scripture it shows that not only is esau not the man esau is not the man of the most high and also too when we're not in lockstep with the most high it's going to show you how you know how he's able to overcome us with his carnal blessing even though we have a more mighty spiritual one and, and just so you brothers understand first and foremost if you listening to this i highly suggest all you brothers watch chronicles of judah he'll give you a lot of knowledge as well but think about this movie think about and i got this from him think about avatar think about the blue man the quote-unquote blue man the spiritual people against who the the edomites the soldiers they had all the weapons and then what did the quote-unquote blue man rely on the spiritual powers that's mm -hmm. what this is mm -hmm. really in reference to that's what this is really exactly. talking about because they try to take over their world they try to use their weapons their guns but they had a spiritual power that was given unto them now they say mother nature is obviously bullshit, but yeah yeah that's that's what this is in reference to and that's why when you look at the end times with the market of beasts and all these things the most high makes you rely on faith because our power base is not guns it's not weapons i get you niggas want guns and shit, but that's why i be telling you brothers don't worry about shit like that because you're a fucking Israelite, nigga. You don't need a gun, nigga. The most uh, high people give you these powers. Think about, exactly. uh, think about Get Out, bro. The black people they wanted their organ because they knew who they really were underneath. They knew who the Israelites really were underneath. Now, now obviously they're just using the quote unquote black man. You know, obviously we've already discussed it, but you got you brothers have to all understand something. Deep down, the Israelite, the dark skin, the the fair tone, that's the true essence of the Most High, bro. So you have to get that in your account, whether you're an Edomite, where you look like a white man, look like a Mexican or whatever. That's what it is. You have to accept it for what it is. Once you accept it, you'll start to understand why these movies portray black people as aliens, as creatures, because that's what we really are, bro. And all you brothers are have the sea line of a quote unquote black man in a sense, not a black man, but you, you know what I'm fucking talking about. So when you understand that and you start to take this face shit more seriously, you start to fast. All the things that Esau science says, oh, you can't do two, three, two, three days without fasting, without food and water. Nigga, I'm an Israel. I can do whatever the hell I want through the most high. You feel me? And that's what it comes down to. Because, again, we're living in an actual movie. It may not seem like we're in a movie because it's real to us, but it's the most highest movie. So when the movie comes to an end, what usually happens? The powers increase. So when you brothers hearken on to the true right hand power that the most high gave us the scriptures, you'll get you know small powers not like no moses shit my nigga you're not gonna be able to part the pacific ocean but you know as time gets uh farther and farther along you'll start to notice a lot of things but it all first comes from knowledge because without the knowledge you'll never get the power you see what i'm saying con con um the knowledge of the most side is is the is man the, uh, versus the colonel, man. Exactly. exactly and it'll just give exactly. you awareness to understand the times that we're coming going into because i guarantee all these people who are anti-vaxxers a lot of the people in the christian church are people who understand the mark of the beast they don't have that fully full spiritual understanding so they're going to relent eventually man they're going to relent yeah of course because they don't understand what the angle is they don't understand that the bless the blessings that are coming upon them if they endure to the very end they just like to talk they talk a good game but they have no exactly. understanding and that again in pursuit to Isaiah 4 and 6 mm -hmm. our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge man and that's just going to that's why two thirds aren't gonna make it, man. God, because you can yeah. still be, you can be an Israelite who, who, uh, who is not gonna immediately capitulate to Esau's whims, but you can still be, but, but still a very carnal-minded person. Just because you're not, just because you haven't taken the jab and 
and things of that nature and you want to because that comes on a lot of these uh blacky black people oh man <clears throat> we're not gonna take this because the white man's the white man's coming against us which which i'm not saying that's not true but they they're not coming at it from the right angle they're coming at it from a, a black versus white you know uh angle instead of uh you know this is what the most this is you know what we have to do to be loyal to the most high you know this is um the jab is leading into the mar and leading into the mlb and and things of that nature like they're not looking at it from a, a full spiritual context they're just looking at it from a, a surface level two-dimensional type understanding look at the tusky like they say they, they reference the tusky experiments a lot like that kind of stuff that i'm not and i'm not I'm, I'm shout out to those brothers that haven't you know taking a jab because of that but even but doing it only because of that that's a carnal understanding that's a fleshly worldly understanding of why you're not going to capitulate esau's whims you got to transition and elevate to a higher level understanding with it like not taking it because you're lord to the most high because it's a law that you're breaking when you do that with the most high because it's leading into certain certain other wicked devices down the line and just having a heavenly mindset with it instead of a spirit instead of a, um a carnal mindset with it and, and real quick, bro, just because Judah touched on it. Remember the song I played at the beginning with the alien sound? Forgive them, Father, for they know not what yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah. That's what I was in reference to. But when you read it, it says we are not the same. I'm a Martian. What group of people do they brand as aliens all the time? Think about Lil Uzi Vert. You know, he has like the little alien sound on his album. Like Lil Wayne, I'm a Martian. I'm an alien. You know, they, they say we're beasts. We're, you know, look at Giannis. He's a, a freak of nature. What are they? The Greek I like just yesterday. She came to work. She say why she manipulate. That pussy doesn't play and make me wanna go insane. But I just had to pray that I go see another day. Nothing. I remember Lucy like it was just yesterday.